So, if you have not noticed, Jujutsu Kaisen is extremely popular right now. The manga series has sold millions of copies, the anime is trending on Twitter every week, and the overall hype and excitement for Jujutsu Kaisen's is off the charts. So, with the first season coming to an end this week, what more can we expect in the future from Jujutsu Kaisen? Well, if you didn't know, there has been some rumors and speculation going on about some potential interesting future cool things about Jujutsu Kaisen. So, in this video, we are going to break it down, theorize, and talk about what's next for Jujutsu Kaisen. My dudes, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, go ahead and mm, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. So, like I said, Jujutsu Kaisen is red hot right now. It cannot be stopped. The overall hype and popularity of the series is on another level because MAPPA did such a fantastic job with the anime and the manga series is doing so well, selling millions of copies, ranking in the charts every week. What more can we expect from the series with the ending of season one? Well, it just so happens to be that there is some potential future spicy details about the series that we can expect. According to a few sources, like I said, there has been some interesting information regarding Jujutsu Kaisen and a future potential movie in the works for Jujutsu Kaisen. There is a domain bought under this name, and with that being done, there is some room in the future for a potential movie in the Jujutsu Kaisen series. So, what could the movie possibly be about? What could a future Jujutsu Kaisen movie look like in the timeline or out of the timeline of the Jujutsu Kaisen main story? There happens to be a current trend because of Demon Slayer of making anime movies in the main canon story of an anime or manga series. The Demon Slayer movie Mugen Train is the next arc in the Demon Slayer manga series following that first season of the anime. So, in Jujutsu Kaisen, after this first season of the anime, there is some interesting details to which I will not go into, just so as to avoid spoilers, in Jujutsu Kaisen, but I, I personally cannot see them making a movie out of what is next in the manga series. Not that the, it couldn't be done, but it just wouldn't be as interesting as another particular thing that I am like 80% sure they're going to make this movie about. Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero. Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero is a series in the manga that is prequel to the main Jujutsu Kaisen storyline following Yuda Okumatsu, and he has a very similar story to Yuji Itadori and the fact that the manga series starts out with him in a room with Gojo and they're gonna execute him. Basically, Yuda has been cursed by a childhood friend who, when they were kids, they promised that they were gonna marry each other, the girl dies, and it's just a sad, dark situation, and she ends up cursing him, and it ends up that she is specifically a very powerful curse, a special grade curse, and it's a really cool story in the Jujutsu Kaisen manga series that is prequel to, like I said, the main Jujutsu Kaisen storyline. Another cool factor about Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero is that it is only four chapters, and each chapter being about 50 pages, but four chapters of a series that could very, very easily be made into a future movie for Jujutsu Kaisen. It's almost like a minimized, sort of compressed version because Yuta himself is very much a main shoden protagonist type character. He is not in the same vein as Yuji Itadori with his confidence and his overall strong abilities and his just kind of goofy demeanor. He is more on the shy, timid, scared side, sort of like Tanjiro from Demon Slayer in that vein. It's a very similar personality, attitude, trait that they both share. But Yuta has a very cool build up and character development just within these four chapters in Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero. So that to me could be very easily made into a future movie for this series. 
And not only could this easily be made into a movie because of, like I said, the length, and it's very much like a compressed version of the Jujutsu Kaisen series that is out right now, but they have name dropped Yuta specifically in the series a few times already. So it is pretty obvious that the author of this series wants you to know who Yuta Okamatsu is and to know what his story is and how it relates to Yuji and everybody else in Jujutsu Kaisen right now. Also, in the latest chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen, something spicy happens that you're definitely going to want to know about. So read Jujutsu Kaisen the manga series if you haven't yet. But with these little breadcrumb trails of information and cool things going on within the series, I am definitely like I said earlier, 80% sure that Jujutsu Kaisen Volume Zero is potentially going to be made into a movie. Also, like I said earlier, regarding the Demon Slayer movie, that movie is canon to the Demon Slayer manga series. And if you didn't know, that movie did unbelievably well. I've talked about it in past videos before, but the fact that anime and manga fandom as a whole are relating more and wanting to see more content regarding the actual story rather than just some made up out of the story movie, sort of like One Piece, Naruto, and Dragon Ball Z have all done in the past. So it just kind of makes sense. It's the, to me right now, if they're in fact going to make a Jujutsu Kaisen movie, then volume zero with Yuda and his story with Gojo and Maki and Inumaki and Panda, their story in Jujutsu Kaisen volume zero would definitely translate very well to a Jujutsu Kaisen movie.